Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a simple mixed operations problem, mixing addition with multiplication, uh, similar to a lot of the other problems we've done before. Uh, this one has shown up uh, in some Facebook uh, forums and um, I, a lot of people get the correct answer, but there's still some confusion uh, that some people have on the way that this works. So. I'd like to work through this. Um, if you'd like to, you can pause the video and uh, try to work this one out, and then we will come back together and solve it. All right, this is a fairly simple problem. Uh, you may already be familiar with the order of operations convention. Um, basically, that involves just four steps. You have parentheses, uh, and this is the typical way it's written out um, in North America. It's uh, really just the terminology. Um, it's all the same worldwide, really, but uh, some of the terminology is different. Uh, we have parentheses uh, and then exponents. Uh, now, it's usually, a lot of times this is memorized in forms of an acronym known as PEMDAS. Uh, however, exponents doesn't really tell you the whole story. There's also things like factorials and square roots. Um, and then and then the third step, you have multiplication and division left to right. Multiplication and division are equal in precedence, so you just solve them left to right as you find them. And then number four is addition and subtraction left to right. Now, if you're in the UK, some other countries, uh, they may list the order of operations out as brackets and then orders. Um, orders is actually probably a better term uh, than the exponents that's normally used in North America. Um, the nice thing about orders is just a general term that basically is covering exponents, square roots, factorials, anything that is a, um, a shorthand for repeated multiplication. So um, they all represent the same thing. So people that understand PEMDAS and BODMAS, um, they're identical. It's the same order of operations. Um, it's just some different terminology that's used. Um, you still have multiplication and division that are solved left to right in addition and subtraction solved left to right. Um, now remember brackets or parentheses, whichever you're using, um, they're just grouping symbols that are just telling us to solve everything inside of those uh, brackets or parentheses according to the order of operations. Um, and then you have, like I said before, you have exponents, factorials, and square roots. Those are all shorthand for repeated multiplication. So uh, things like exponents would have higher precedence than your multiplication and division. Uh, of course, I misspelled shorthand here. Great. Um, so anyhow, um, therefore, you don't have to have brackets or parentheses here to get the correct answer. Uh, it's not necessary. I mean, they're nice. You can put them in there if you want to. Uh, brackets or parentheses around multiplication or division is really redundant because, like I say, multiplication already has precedence over addition and subtraction. Multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. And then your division, the reason multiplication and division have equal precedence is because division is multiplied by a reciprocal. It's, it's the same thing as multiplication by a reciprocal. There's really no difference. Um, I could say uh 10 divided by 5 or uh which is 2 or i could say 10 multiplied by 1 fifth equals 2. Uh, it's the same thing you're dividing by um just multiplication by a reciprocal subtraction is the same thing as addition it's it's adding a negative number so it's really no difference you're just going the opposite direction on a number line if you're wanting to look at it as a num and according to a number line so again, we've already kind of gone over this, but multiplication has precedence over the addition. So even though the multiplication is written last, you still have to solve it first. And 4 times 0 is, of course, 0. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus, 4 plus 0 is 12. That is the correct answer. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I read sentences left to right when I'm reading a book. Why don't we... Do the multiplication, why isn't the multiplication written first? If it was going to be done that way, they would have written it first. Well, the, the truth is, it doesn't matter. Because of the order of operations, 
you can write the multiplication first. 4 times 0 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. It's the same thing as 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 times 0 is 12. It's the same thing as saying 4 plus 4 times 0 plus 4 plus 4. That's still equal to 12. Uh, look at it this way, okay? When you go to a grocery store or any store and you're checking out at the cashier, does it matter what order the cashier scan? Well, and of course, in this day and age, you're lucky if you have a cashier. You might be going to the self-checkout and scanning things yourself. Now, do you, unless you're cheating, do you save money or do you pay more money depending on the order that you scan things at the checkout? You know, you could think of this as, you know, four is the same as four times one. Four is the same as four times one. So you could think of this like you're shopping and you've got a four, you know, um, four one dollar items that you're purchasing, right? And that so you scan the first four. You got, you know, four plus four. It doesn't matter the order. It's the same way at a cashier. It doesn't matter the order that items are scanned. Your price will still be twelve dollars. You know, it doesn't matter. So that's why it doesn't matter the order. Multiplication would still have precedence. Um, yeah, so you've got um, here, the, uh, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. So I could replace the uh, multiplication with addition and just say 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Um, and we're, gonna, we're going to fix my spelling here while we're at it. Since I can't spell the word and, there's an N here. Okay, I get that. <laughs> uh, obviously, I didn't do enough proofreading, so that's on me. But, again, 4 times 0 is the same thing as adding 4 zeros. Right? So, how many zeros would you have to add to get anything other than a 0? Well, that, that's kind of a silly question, right? I could add millions and millions of zeros. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're still going to have zero. So, yeah, it's still the 12. So keep in mind that um, you know a lot of people will answer this and they think the answer is zero. And what they're what they're doing is they're adding four plus four, uh, and then they're they're saying well four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, plus four is 16, 16 times zero is zero right zero well no that's not correct at all that's wrong and the reason for that is because again multiplication has precedence and it would be kind of silly because if you think that left to right is correct well when you start changing the order of things like if i was to go back here well goodness like the if you believe that you would think that um you know you would think up here that this would be what what do we say zero right and then here, uh, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Well, this would be right, right? That'd be 12. And then you're saying 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. Well, that would make this one 8. So now I've got three different answers, depending on the order that that's written out. 0, 12, or 8. Um, that's ridiculous. I mean, that you're basically telling me that, gee, when I go to the cashier, I need to be smart about how I scan my items at the self-checkout because if I scan the bread before the milk, hey, I'm going to save $4. But if I scan the milk before the bread, I'm going to pay $4 more. Well, that that's absolutely nuts. That makes no sense. And so it really shoots a hole in this whole left-to-right idea and, uh, you know, a lot of people will claim that uh, that's how they were taught, but I guarantee you weren't. Um, it's a lot. There's a lot of people who just simply forget, uh, you know, what they were taught decades ago. And occasionally, I make these, you know, PowerPoint presentations, and I forget to go back and uh, review my own uh, my own work, and so I end up with some of these misspellings like I have. So. Hey, you know, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. This isn't about me going out and trying to show, hey, I know so much. Because, I, you know, there's things that I goof up a lot, too. But this is, this is very basic um, elementary school level mathematics. I'd say in the U.S. this has got to be like at least, you know, 
no, no more than about fourth grade level, probably, you know, possibly third. I'm not sure. But um, this this is pretty well established stuff. Anyhow, enough of the rambling. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, I'm going to work on my editing going into the future. I hope to see everybody in the next video. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, week, whenever you happen to be watching this video. And we'll check in with you later.